Welcome to 411carline.com. You can find us at 411carline.com. On our website, you'll find pricing information, vehicle information, vehicle photos, as well as a free Carfax. Click the Carfax Advantage Dealer icon to view the free Carfax. 952-540-9000 is our phone number. Give us a call to ask any questions or to set up an appointment. We are by appointment only, so please do call in advance. We appreciate that. All of our vehicles go to third-party shops for inspection. Safety, mechanical, and road test inspections are performed. We do whatever safety, mechanical, maintenance, repairs the shop recommends we bring it to. You're welcome to have it inspected prior to buying it as well. Just ask us about our policy on that. Lastly, aftermarket warranties are available on all vehicles, no matter the year, make, model, or miles. Ask us about those, or it'll be stapled to the Carfax when you come in. We have this 2003 GMC Envoy. Same thing as Trailblazer. Envoy is usually a little bit more outfitted with options, so this is a beautiful North Carolina truck. Never seen road salt, uh, no rust. There's a lot of these in Minnesota in the Midwest that are uh, rotted. <laughs> so to find one in this condition is pretty impressive. This is probably the cleanest one I've found in nine years of buying cars. So this one, uh, we'll start in the front here. Front bumper's in pretty good shape. Expect minor imperfections, little rock chips and stuff, uh, which show that it has 130,000 miles on it. Headlights are beautifully clear on this one. Grill and chrome are in good shape. It does have a bug deflector, uh, so it doesn't have any um, rock chips or anything on the hood. Hood is in beautiful condition. This fender's in nice shape too. Wheels are beautiful. It's got the cool six spoke GMC wheels, of course. It has Goodyear all season tires on it. Tread depth is good on them. It does have the moonroof moon roof with the roof rack and the cross rails. Again, there are minor imperfections. There's a little ding there, a couple little little hairline scratches. These door guards are always going to have some some little chips and stuff from doing what they're made to do. So. This uh, door is in nice shape. This quarter is in good shape. Again, very small hairline scratches if you're really being uh, particular. So, new rear brake pads and rotors. You can see those. Again, tire tread depth is good on these. Back bumper is in pretty good shape. Again, expect minor imperfections. There's a little chip here or there. Does have the tow package. Also has a seven pin connector down here tailgate's in good shape. Minor little scratches here and there, but overall definitely above average for the year and the miles. This quarter's in good shape. This door's in good condition. Again, very small hairline scratches in this general area. See the tire tread depth. Forgot to mention, obviously it has fixed running boards. Passenger door's in good shape here and this fender's in beautiful condition. So all the wheels are nice. There's no curb rash or anything like that. So I'll show you the underside here. This thing is beautifully clean. This frame has not been painted or anything. That's how they come from the factory. You can even, oopsies. You can even see the bolts are still kind of silverish. Um, usually those in Minnesota or anywhere would be definitely rotted orange. So door bottoms and everything of course are clean. Uh, the door panels are in good shape. This is a non-smoker vehicle. I believe it's no pets. I haven't found any pet hair or anything. It does have heated leather seats. It's got the two-tone leather. They're very comfortable. Power seats, of course. Dash is in good shape. Headliner is in good shape. Carpet's in pretty good condition. GMs of this era a lot of times have like this little brown discoloration. The floor mats mostly cover that, but it's pretty common with these. Not sure if it was something with the carpet dye they used or what. But. So this door panel is in good shape. Again, these would be rusty in Minnesota, the dog leg here. They are not. You can see the seat folds down. You have full, full cargo area access. So back seat's in nice shape on this one. The headrests are fixed, attached to the seat. They fold when you fold the seat, which is pretty handy. 
Um, rear climate control and uh, audio controls. Show you the underside back here. And beautifully clean. As with any vehicle that's you know 20 years old or so, there's gonna be minor surface rust in certain areas, but nothing like Minnesota. This thing actually is pretty amazing. Look at the frame and the floors. Impressive. So it does have a rear cargo mat here, also has the factory one. Um, so I think there's a compartment here. A little secret compartment. Factory floor mats, does have the factory cargo cover as well. This one is a five passenger. It's not the extended version with the long back end. Show you into this side. Again, just beautifully clean. Door panels are in good shape, back seat's in good shape. The uh, driver door panel's in good condition as well. It does have two position seat memory, it also has heated leather seats as I mentioned, power windows, power locks, key entry. Driver seat's in pretty good condition for the miles. Very minor wear here and there, but nothing too major. No rips, tears, anything like that. Pop in, start it up for you. One thirty-two, one seventy is the total miles on it right now. Uh, just broken in for one of these four point two liters. Uh, I had my mom driving one of these a few years ago. Uh, she works at the business as well. Uh, vehicle had 275,000 miles on it. It was still running strong. I just started to get a little leery of it having her daily drive it from St. Paul. So um, they can go a really long time with regular service. This one has awesome service history on the Carfax, two owner vehicle. Again, dash is in beautiful condition. Um, this one does have Bose. You can see Bose stereo. So. Uh, let's see here, AM, FM, CD, obviously, it says AUGS, I'm not exactly sure what that means, it does have an AUGS port, but I'm guessing you have to plug something into the back of the head unit, would be my assumption, it does have dual automatic climate control, so you can control both zones of the AC and heat, you just put it on auto like that, it'll find the right temperature, so AC automatically comes on. Down here you've got plenty of 12 volt plugs, there's three, and then you have your rear wipers, uh, four wheel drive, it does have the auto option as well. Factory owner's manual is in there. Everything's pretty uh, in pretty good condition. Of course it's got minor wear on the buttons and stuff like all GMs do, that's not uncommon. Electrochromatic auto dimming rear view mirror with compass. It has home link garage door opener, which is these three buttons right here show you the moonroof operation so it does open i opened it before i'm not going to open it all the way so moonroof operates as it should center console's in good shape steering wheel's in good condition has temperature controls on the steering wheel uh, you can scroll through the uh thing up here as well radio controls cruise controls on the stock over here does have fog lamps, headlight washers, I believe, power windows, power locks, power mirrors, defrost mirrors, heated seats. Everything works as it should. Let me open the hood for you. I'll show you under the engine bay here. My phone does pick up small engine valve train noise and fan noise more than the human ear, so sometimes it sounds a little noisier on my phone than it would in person. Beautiful condition. You look at all the places that would usually have rust, that heat shield usually rots. 
mat on this one. Even the hose tank is still silver. Under the hood's nice and clean. It's a beautiful truck. That's a 2003 GMC. You can visit our website for more information, 411carline.com, or give us a call, 952-540-9000. Thanks for your time today. Have a great day.